today's video. I'm so excited because I never thought that I would get to do to this video because with so much going on and me trying to balance out my vlog channel things, I never actually thought I would get to this video. But um, today's video is a spring foundation routine. Yay! I'm so excited for this video. I then I went to one that'll be linked in the description box below and also my latest March video so if you have not checked any of my March videos they'll be linked in the down bar as well so yeah I'm super excited because this video is so different it has different products it is just amazing like I had so much fun creating this video for you guys and I was like I love my people so I'm having a great time on my channel in 2016 I'm so enjoying the new content and everything on this channel and I'm working even harder on this channel so yeah cuz my family you know if you haven't watched my it's my anniversary video the understand so please if you have not tuned in to that please you just got to get your hands on that video and tune in in and I am also vlogging so yay, yay. I have posted within February and March. I posted five vlogs on that channel. Like that is huge compared to what I used to be like. I used to just post one, one vlog one month and three months later another vlog. Which that is horrible. That is so horrible. But we're getting on with this. We're getting on. I'm super excited about it. I'm happy. I'm just excited. But I'm so excited, especially for this type of video right here. So if you guys are wanting all the products that I did use in this video, it'll be linked in the down bar below. So I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Let's go ahead and hop right on into this video. So already I've already applied my moisturizer. I love the Clean Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I use this in every, every routine video you guys do not know by now. I use this all the time and it just works the best for me. I kind of like go extra coats during the springtime so that no matter where I go, my skin does not feel extremely dry. So, I always got to have that moisture no matter what because... My skin is pretty bad and I need <laughs> the perfect type of texture. So now I am going to be taking the Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. And I love the Maybelline Baby Skin. It gives that smoothness to my skin. And it also, it's an instant pore eraser. It came out a while ago, probably about two or three years. And I really, really like it. So I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to apply it to my face in the areas where I need the most. And then I like to kind of like play around with it after I apply it with the areas where I need it the most. See, usually before I do my foundation, I always have my eyebrows and eyeshadow routine already on and done because with that you know you apply in shimmer eyeshadows not not only just shimmer eyeshadows any eyeshadows you want to make sure you're not messing up your foundation or you're gonna have to just start over and yes I always have my scarf on whenever I do my um, foundation because I used to be like should I put my scarf on YouTube but you know that's that's how I get ready. So with this foundation, I like to use it's the BH Cosmetics 113 brush. I love this brush because one is round and it's soft, and I do not have any problems with this brush whatsoever. So I do not have any problems with this brush. And with this brush here, it really gets where I need my foundation at. So the foundation I am using is new. I like to shake it up because it says shake well before using. It's new to me but it's old to the game of YouTube and it's old to the beauty world. It's it's not old old but it's old but not it's a throwback. 
Okay, let's just say it like that. So I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. And I am in the shade, of course, 95 Coconut. I'm in the shade 95 Coconut. And it's a very, like, different type of foundation. You control the foundation. Usually the foundations I um, have is they control itself. But you control how much it, uh, how much you want. And another thing about it is, is that with this foundation, you guys, it's a light foundation. I think that's perfect for all, like, summer and winter. No, summer and spring. Because throughout the winter, you're going to want a heavier foundation. But in the summertime, you don't really want a real heavy foundation because when you are all sweaty and also in the springtime you know your skin is kind of getting a little adjusted into the whole um, weather change so I just take this brush and I just apply it just like I did with the um, the baby skin and with this foundation it, it just gives the most coverage. I never actually seen a liquid foundation that gives the most coverage. And this is not just like, like I just said, a heavy liquid foundation. I want you to just, just look at this side compared to this side. It is awesome. Like I have some spots on my face. So I really want to cover them up before I actually cover it with concealer. So and with this foundation being so light, it's amazing. So this is one whole layer, one round, one whole layer, one coat, and then we're just going to touch up some areas. is on I really really love this foundation never thought that I would you know pick it up but I did and I'm glad that I did because it done a good job you know I always do a good job as far as coverage and things so next I am going to be taking is the Maybelline this is the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer in the shade called light pale I've been using this concealer a lot and I'm just going to apply my concealer. I do go light with the concealer because especially not in the winter time but in the summer time because when I'm one you're sweaty and then two yeah, no. You want to be careful with much product you apply to your skin. So I do go a little light with it, not too much. Now that we have our concealer on, I'm going to go in with the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. And I'm going to be using, about dropped it, um, I'm going to be using the setting powder. I kind of want to be careful with this because with, with the setting powder, it gets overwhelming at times. So I want to, you know like that's already too much and I'm not a fan of baking 
something that's not a good thing to do. I'm not a fan of baking. Make sure you, before you blow, get the extra excess because you want to set your concealer. Now, since we are dealing with the palette itself, and also blow off extra excess. Now that we're dealing with the palette itself, I do take this shape right here. And I like to just do like a nice little contour. Nothing too over the top, but something easy to do. So I just take the powder itself and chisel. Make sure I get my jawline. Down the bridge of my nose. Now that we have our face contour concealed foundation, now is the fun part, which is setting powder. Setting powder is so cool. So this is the NYC setting powder. This is the Mosaic setting powder. And Mosaic wheel, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna really load my brush up and then apply my setting powder. Once all of that is done and set in place, I really like to do a little bit of highlighting and adding some blush. But before we do that, I like to show you guys the blush that I really enjoy. And it is from YH by J Cosmetics. You can get these at Glitter. And you also can find these at um, online or either on eBay or either on Amazon. And so it will be linked in the down bar below. But I like to take the shade called number three. And number three is like a rosy color. So it's natural, but then again, get a little bit of color. And it's not too, too much. It just gives you that nice cheek effect, that nice, gorgeous, natural effect. And I like to just start from the apples of my cheeks and bring it back towards my um, hair. Kind of like right there. So I just do it like that. And do it like that. So, I might add just a little bit more on this side because I think I need to add a little bit more. Okay, so now after that is done, I do like to go back in with the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. And I am going to take is this shade right here. This is the highlighter of the palette. And I am going to be taking it. Get the highlight going. Now, a lot of people ask me why I don't do the Cupid's bow. It is pointless to me. And then the little nose tip, I saw um, Goss Makeup Artist. Here on YouTube, talk about it. Go check out their video one. And um, I just don't favor the Cupid's bow because, for one, I don't really wear a lot of lip product as it is, unless I really want to. And I love my vampy lip products. And number um, two is that I just just don't favor the Cupid's bow. <laughs> So the lipstick that I have been wearing, and you guys, other lip gloss, excuse me, other lip gloss I've been wearing. I talked about the lipstick in the last video, so get the correction right, D. Get the correction right. So the lip gloss that I have been talking about is from LA Colors. It's their High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. And it's in the shade called Lavish. And this is this purple plum shade that I've been wearing.
And to complete everything, I love using this product. I've done a review of it already, so please check it out. And I shake well. And I like to use the Wet Wild Photo Focus Spray. Since I am a YouTuber and I have to take a lovely thousands of selfies, I am going to spray it. the correct way not only is it for photo focusing it's an all day uh, setting spray so wipe get the mist out of the way get the mist out of the way get the, get the, get the, get the, get the, wait alright so obliqueness oblique this is how you get your face beat. Nah, just kidding. But yeah, this is my spring um, foundation routine. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this spring foundation routine. That was so awkward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this spring foundation routine. This is what I'm going to be wearing throughout spring and kind of throughout summer. So I might not be doing a summer foundation routine. I don't know yet. But knowing me, I might want to film it anyway. So yeah, like this foundation is the life. This is the live. Y'all see that Big Lots um, logo. <laughs> I'm so ghetto. The Big Lots logo is like right there. So yes. So I love it. I love it. I love it. It's nice. Excuse uh, Ray Ray Shay Shay. I don't know where they came from. These two bumps here. But excuse me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up. And don't forget to also subscribe to It's Deanna's Life TV. That is my daily, not daily, that's my vlog channel. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys later. I have one month, 12 days, 6 hours until I set sail to Dominican Republic. Ah! I'm so excited for those vlogs as well. Anyways, I'm going to go and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.